In response to Rob's plea for men to help him capture Castle Rock, Lord Walder sends his sons Lothar and Black Walder to Riverrun to discuss the terms of a new alliance with him. Lord Walder demands Harrenhal, as well as the marriage between Edmer Tully and his daughter Roslyn. When the king in the north and his entourage arrive, Lord Walder offers them his hospitality, but cannot keep himself from mocking Rob over his broken oath, insulting Queen Talisa and leering over her. Later, he oversees the wedding of Edmer and Roslyn, and the following feast. Once the newlyweds retire for the betting, he has the hall sealed and gives the cue for his men to slaughter the Starks. He watches in rapture and takes sips from his cup as Talisa, along with her unborn child, is stabbed to death by Lothar, whilst Rob's bannermen are killed by crossbowmen. In a desperate bid to save her son, Caitlin takes Julia's hostage and begs Walder to spare his life, swearing they will take no vengeance. However, Walder hypocritically faults Caitlin for allowing her son to break the oath she swore to him the last time they spoke right there in his castle, even though he had then openly expressed his indifference towards the oath he swore to her father and had now just broken his promised protection of guest right. When Caitlin threatens to cut his wife's throat if he does not comply, Walder shrugs and coldly retorts that he will find another. Rob is then killed by Ruse Bolton, who had sealed an alliance with Walder by marrying his granddaughter Valda. Lady Julia's is killed by Caitlin, and finally Caitlin is killed by Black Walder. For his part in the Red Wedding, Lord Walder is granted River Run and protection from vengeful Northerners by Tywin Lannister. The next morning, he and Ruse Bolton gloat over their victory, though Bolton appears concerned when it is discovered that Rob's great uncle, Brendan Tully, escaped the massacre, while Frey is undisturbed. Frey voices his contempt for Rob, referring to him as a stupid boy and mockingly drinking a toast to him, while Bolton claims that it was precisely Rob's political inexperience that led him to betray him.